Welcome again to Cherry Red Radio. I'm Ian McNay and I'm joined, as usual, by my guests, Professor John Reed and Matt Ingham. And we've got, as always, a very varied show for you and I think a very good show for you. And we're going to start by two tracks by The Runaways. Here goes. Yeah. 
That was Cherry Bomb and American Nights from the all-girl band The Runaways. And I remember first seeing The Runaways when they came to the UK. Must have been 75, 76. They were supporting someone at the Roundhouse. I just thought they were great. And the five members were Joe Jett, of course, went on to a great career. Cherry Carey, who had a further career. Sandy West, the drummer. Jackie Fox, who went on to be an attorney. And Lita Ford, the guitarist, who went on to have a great career as well. And just very briefly, they were a concept who uh, was, was put together by Kim Fowley, uh, late 74. They recorded four studio albums and one live album. And we've put these five releases together in a box set. And the box set is called Neo Angels on the Road to Ruin, 1974 to 1978. And we actually did put one of those albums out on Cherry Red, the last album, which um, was actually Joan Jett on, on, um, on vocals after Cherry Curry left. And of course, Joan then went on to have a huge hit with I Love Rock and Roll. And John, I'm going to ask you a question. Who wrote I Love Rock and Roll? I think it is Russ Ballard. No. It was a member of a, the group The Arrows. That's right. Okay. Anyway, I've caught him out. It's very difficult to call the professor out because he actually knows virtually everything. Anyway, enough of this. Um, well, enough of that, rather. So, and then the second box set that we're going to talk about today is called 1982 Screaming at the Nation. And this, was a, this is a box set put together by Mark Brennan for us. And it it's, it's, um, very much highlights the second wave of punk from 1982. And it's got artists on there like The Damned, Exploited, uh, Angelic Upstarts, Conflict, GBH, Business, UK Subs, etc. I'm going to play two tracks, Angelic Upstarts, Woman in Disguise and Blitz, Voice of a Generation. Rate of anything the headland. Man, 
That was Woman in Disguise by Angelic Upstarts and Voice of a Generation by Blitz. Both really important bands from that from that era. And Blitz actually were the first signing to No Future Records, which was an offshoot of Trey Red at the time. And uh, Voice of a Generation was a title track from their from their first album. So we're going to have a bit of a change now in. Not so, not so much in musical intensity, but very much things from a different perspective because that, that previous box set in 1982 was very much about social discontent, um, very much the Thatcher years. People were, people were very unhappy. Young people felt they didn't have a future in life. And this we're going to move on to is an American rapper, well, rapper, kind of rock rapper, called Manifest. Let me play the track first. It's called Firestarter. I want to be a firestarter. You can help me if you want to. We can spread and make a whole world lighter. 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 I want to Just gets walked all over I don't normally overreact But I just can't sit here waiting For someone to initiate it I won't stand by and watch it waste away I wanna be a fire star You can help me if you wanna We can spread and make the whole world lighter Lighter, lighter 
That was um, Firestarter by Manifest. And Trio Red actually has, with an American partner, bought up the catalogue of Manifest. So we'll be working it very hard over the next, the next few years. And it's, a, it's an interesting story because the, um, it's one guy, basically, Chris, Chris Greenwood. And um, he had a very difficult childhood. His father committed suicide when he was only five years old. So... He, he kind of was, was the man about house, if you like. And um, he wanted to be a skateboarder, but then had a bad accident, and that didn't make that possible. So um, he found Christ. So he is a Christian rapper, if you like, rock rapper. And I just think the music is brilliant. We all do it, Trey Red. I should just add that the, that was off, actually, Manifest's ninth album, which was called Stones. And we're now going to move on to the professor who's going to tell us about all God's children. Thanks, Ian. Yeah, this is the latest in uh, really, you know, probably several dozen grapefruit compilations, mostly three CDs. This one, I guess, is devoted to, devoted being the right word maybe, to a kind of, not even really a genre, but a, um, a, a moment really in British rock music where... Christianity, but also much broader fascination with spirituality, um, became something that a lot of songwriters started to deal with. It was at the tail end of the 60s. I think it was the hippie movement, really, that drove this. And so a lot of people, whether they were Christians or of other faiths or not, would, started writing songs about, about Jesus and uh, sort of spiritual beliefs and so on. And there was a whole kind of what they'd labelled in the press at the time, Jesus Rock, the Jesus Rock movement. And so this new compilation is entitled All God's Children, which is after a kink song, and subtitled Songs from the British Jesus Rock Revolution, 1967 to 74, and includes the usual array of artists that you might expect, people like Linda's Farn, the Moody Blues, Gordon Giltrap, Richard Thompson, Man from Man's Earth Band. So all for famous rock names interspersed with some acts who were out-and-out out Christian artists who only put out records on, on very specialist labels. Um, you're thinking about bands like Out of Darkness, whose record was, was privately pressed and worth an absolute fortune now. So it's a really intriguing compilation. Beautifully annotated and the story told by David Wells, the compiler and the curator. We're going to hear a few tracks from that now. Al Stewart's Gethsemane Again. Prelude with Dear Jesus, Winter Song by Lindisfarne, and Clear White Light by Wishful Thinking. In Blasted Cathedral on Saturday night, I came to your flower show blown like a kite. And I stood by the tombstones and gazed at the lights on the altar. On the horse face stood ladies and tweeted tongued men. Of county society they came and they went with pamphlets and leaflets of Christian events for the fall. But ain't that all just like Jesus? 
crying in the rain Ain't that all just got some money again Or oh, the half a crown program's on sale at the door Were clutched in the teeth of the rich and the poor As they swayed in an undertone Conscience free forward together On the outstretching hands of the swains of the Lord So the communing commuters the word With our peas of Mary and photos of God in the hall. But ain't that all just like Jesus? Crying in the rain. Ain't that all just get some money again? All the flowers hushed the air as the columns advanced To the clinking of coins in a ritual dance On the flagstones that ached for a chance Of a chance of escaping And the mystical statues looked down so depressed At the endless possessors becoming possessed And the costumed confessors who never confessed to the wall. But ain't that all just like Jesus? Crying in the rain. Ain't that all just get some money again? Oh, I I saw a blue hair and I saw a black tooth I saw a false face in a telephone booth And the stark white-faced roses that screamed out the truth of the dying And a walrus's dreams and a carpenter's love Absorbed like a hand in a great rubber glove And flown like a flag over battlefields, factories and all. Ain't that all just like Jesus? Crying in the rain. Ain't that all just get some money again? Oh, I dodged the collection box, choir boy and out To the streets where the wind shook my hair with a shout And the dusty-faced days as were blowing about so freely And Christ in the ruins was wandering again As he walked with the beggars and talked to the lame And danced with the children and sailors Who came at his call But ain't that all just like Jesus Crying in the rain Ain't that all just Gethsemane again Ain't that all just like Jesus Crying in the rain Ain't that all just like Nazareth again Just when I want you to show me how 
to stop all the wars, to end the pain. I'll never want nothing but to see you again. When I want you to show me how I'm sick and I'm tired I'm angry inside I'm poor and I'm hungry much more beside Oh dear Jesus How can you go How can you suffer To let your people go I'm a woman And you're a boy The difference that can say I need to be so very old Where are you and where are we Who dissipate our energy so foolishly I need to live in honesty I know it's alright, I know it's alright to Just when I want you to show me Shadowy fingers first pursue you down the street, and your boots no longer lie about the cold around your feet. Do you spare a thought for someone whose passage is complete, whose memories lie in whose ruins lie in heat when winter Spare a thought for the homeless 
was trying Who wishes he was dead Oh, do you pull your bed clothes higher Dream of summertime instead When winter Turkeys in the oven and the Christmas presents are bought, and Santa's in his module. He's an American astronaut. Do you spare one thought for Jesus who had nothing but his thoughts? Who got busted? Just for talking and befriending the wrong souls when winter comes howling in when winter. Singing a song in the morning light Over the flowery field as far as out of sight Turning your head to the sky and the clouds and the trees Cause you never know what you might see seen by everyone, melting the sky through a hole in your eye where the magic comes, turning your head to the skies with a cloud in your eyes, could you never know what you might Loving and kind to your fellow man Seeing 
no siempre estaban out over again. Now is the time to give love this warm glow. Could you not know what you might know? And I believe that Cleo White Love is going to guide us on. Yes, I. We just heard four songs from the new compilation on Grapefruit, All God's Children. Gethsemane Again by Al Stewart, Dear Jesus by Prelude, Winter Song by Lindisfarne and Wishful Thinking's Clear, Clear White Light. Moving on to an entirely different compilation um, that's appearing on our, just appeared, I think it's just come out on our Cherry Red label. This is a four CD box set, Into Tomorrow, The Spirit of Mod, 1983 to 2000. So picture, if you will, the, uh, the mood amongst the nation's youth towards the end of 1982. Paul Weller has announced the breakup of the jam. A nation mourns. Everyone wears black. But out of, out of the ashes of this terrible moment, a new movement rises. And really, the spirit of mod um, continued in various guises in the indie scene and eventually really kind of coming to a crescendo with Britpop, which was, which was very much influenced by that. And this new compilation really celebrates that, that scene that followed. We're going to hear three tracks from this new 4CD compilation. Down Angel Lane by Bronco Bullfrog. The title track, which was also the solo single from Paul Weller, Into Tomorrow. And Fighting Fit by Gene.
just heard three tracks from Into Tomorrow, The Spirit of Mod, 1983 to 2000, Bronco Bullfrogs Down Angel Lane, Paul Weller's Into Tomorrow, or technically the Paul Weller Movements Into Tomorrow, and Fighting Fit by Gene. Of course, the band who probably more than any other inspired that kind of mod rock sound were The Who, and there's a new box set coming out this autumn devoted to other than Tommy, probably their most famous album. I guess Quadrophenia is in the mix as well. But Who's Next was a record that the Who struggled to make at the time. Tommy uh, really rescued them from the doldrums. They were struggling. 1968, they were at risk of being lost and went from being heroes, zeros to heroes, really, with the success, worldwide success of Tommy. And Pete Townsend there, obviously their driving creative force, really struggled with the next project. Uh, Tommy, of course, was a concept album, and his next project was meant to be called Lifehouse, but he could not join the dots with the concept. And out of the ashes of the abandoned Lifehouse album came Who's Next and the cover. People remember it, you know, you've got uh, four guys, you know, in a sort of teenage wasteland, I suppose, very much the antithesis of the, the high art of Tommy. This was almost like a back to, felt like a back to basics record. This new deluxe edition, tries to link the demos that were made really for Lifehouse uh, and that concept for Lifehouse with the eventual album Who's Next. Uh, Uncut magazine have done a nice 10 track cover mount sampler to give us a taster of what to expect and we're going to play one track from this uh, new deluxe edition. This is the uh, Record Plant New York Sessions 1971 version of Behind Blue Eyes. No one knows what it's like to be the bad man, to be the sad man behind the blue eyes. No one knows what it's like to be hated, to be faded, to telling only lies. But my dreams, they aren't as empty as my conscience seems to be. Some bad news before I laugh and act like a fool. 
like to be the bad man, to be the sad man behind blue eyes. That was the previously unreleased record plant New York Sessions 1971 version of Behind Blue Eyes. And uh, yeah, back to Ian to chat about another British rock legend. Well, I bought the latest um, Pretenders album recently called Relentless, and I've always liked the Pretenders. I've got quite a lot of their albums at home, and I've seen them live a few times over the years. And Chrissy Hine, for me, has got a brilliant, a brilliant voice, a brilliant image, and she's a fascinating person. And... Uh, Actually, Relentless, I looked it up, it's their 12th studio album. That's obviously on top of live albums. Anyway, I'm going to play the, the first track on there, which is called Losing My Sense of Taste. <laughs>
Okay, that was uh, Losing My Sense of Taste by The Pretenders from their new album called Relentless. And another album I've been playing recently in the car, where I play a lot of my uh, CDs, is um, an album that's just come out on Esoteric, which is uh, by Arthur Brown, called Dance. And uh, this is actually a very interesting album. I'm going to play the track first, and then I will talk a bit more about it. And the track is called Helen with the Sun.
Okay, so that was um, Helen with the Sun from uh, by Arthur Brown, and that was that was made in 1975, which is shortly after the crazy world of Arthur Brown, when he had the huge hit with Fire. And I was just reading the uh, sleeve notes, and it's very interesting how ideas and projects come together. And Arthur had this idea of doing an album, which is like dance music from around the world and um, he just thought well he'd really like to involve Stevie Wonder and so apparently he went to a, a London gig of Stevie Wonder got himself backstage introduced himself to Stevie and said I'd like you to produce my new album which is dance music from around the world and Stevie said well that's a great idea I'd love to be involved with that I'll do it um, and so Arthur was obviously very delighted. And then he, after that, he went to see Stevie Winwood and said, would you play keyboards on my new album of dance music from around the world? And again, uh, Stevie Winwood said, yeah, brilliant idea, love to. And then, and then of course, um, Arthur went and told his record company, all excited about how he had these two amazing Stevies that we're going to be involved with his new album. And um, his record label with Gull Records, and uh, the face of the main director rather dropped. And he said, do you realise how much it's going to cost us to do this? And of course, Arthur's great idea of using those very talented people didn't quite work in the end. But the album came out, and it was, it was held very much as a new direction for Arthur, a very brave move. And as I say, it's just been reissued on Esoteric with another six bonus tracks from a, a BBC session. It's a very interesting album and I recommend it. I'm now going to pass you on to uh, Matt Ingham, who's been very quiet so far today. Um, and he's going to talk about uh, Hawkwind and Toya. Thanks, Ian. Yeah, I'm going to play a couple of tracks from uh, two recent super deluxe box sets that we've put out the first is from Hawkwind we've just reissued their amazing um, Space Ritual album the 50th anniversary which was a Space Ritual was a live album recorded um, on the tour of December 1972 and we have just done a double LP version a two CD version and an 11 disc box and Ian you saw Hawkwind quite recently at the Royal Albert Hall how were they? You didn't make it, did you? I didn't no, make it, was, it. it was Hawkwind and Arthur Brown. And Arthur Brown, Brown. yeah, that does, that's worked out quite and well. It was, a, it was a great, great evening, and one of the rare things for me was Arthur Brown with support. And the hall must have been about two thirds full to watch Arthur. Excellent. And he, he was just brilliant. He had four costume changes in 40 minutes. How about that? Sounds like Arthur. And then he played with Hawkwind a bit, didn't he? He came, he came on, on and he read, he, he, he read two poems, yes. Fantastic, yeah. yeah. It's always sorry to miss a Hawkwind gig, but um, if you ever have the chance to see them live, take it. And in the meantime, I'll play you Down Through the Night by Hawkwind. <laughs>
and that was Down Through the Night by Hawkwind from their uh, recently reissued Space Ritual box set. And then the next track I'm going to play you comes from one of our favourite artists, which is Toya. We've just reissued her 1982 uh, Top 40 album, The Changeling, uh, which is, I think, the 10th release in our Toya archive series. Um, another amazing super deluxe set, three CDs, DVDs, two vinyl, all sorts of stuff. But the track I'm going to play you is um, the uh, sort of best known single from that time, and that's Brave New World.
It was Brave New World by Toya. Uh, and she's on tour soon as well with her husband, Robert Fripp. So we'll definitely be sending a few Cherry Red guys down to uh, catch that show. And I'm now going to pass you back over to Ian. Okay, well, the next track for me is centred around a band that I've been wanting to see for a long time live. I've never seen them before, but I did see them three weeks ago, and they're called Big Big Train. I'm going to play Big Big Train and The Second Brightest Star. Stirred the soul, the poetry and art help us forget we're quite alone. A canopy of stars, we plot celestial heavens with. Telescopes and charts to see the second brightest star, so we know where we are. We know just.
That was The Second Brightest Star by Big Big Train. And that was from the, their 11th studio album. And they started in Bournemouth in 1980. Pretty much uh, a British band. But I was talking to a couple of band members afterwards and they just seem to be very, very international now. They had um, 11 people on stage, 11 musicians on stage, which is, uh, which is these days pretty amazing, actually. Um, Sadly, the lead vocalist, David Longdon, he died uh, about three years ago, but they now have a new, a new vocalist. Other band members have changed, but um, I really recommend them. They've never had a chart album. They've never played in big stadiums apart from support, but they're, they really are quite a unique, uh, a unique experience to see, to see them live. So the next track we're gonna play is unusual to say the least. Let's play it first. It's by a band called The Cold Blooded Hearts and the track is called High. <laughs> Fall apart, slipping through my hands But baby, take your time before you tear it down Cause what we build is drove a thousand miles Now I know I've been on this high road too long And I've been trying so hard to stand up strong but I know it's time I should come back down Cause what I'm looking for is long ago Now I've been too high, too low And the fire I once held has gone All my battles I never won All my lessons they Time when I danced too close to the light Yeah, and I was lost that once was mine But you never lose what you got inside And I Vale 
that was high by the cold-blooded hearts. And I said it was unusual because actually the, the singer, Gareth Ainsworth, is actually a football manager. He manages Queen's Park Rangers, who play in the Championship in the UK and used to play in the Premier League for Wimbledon and also managed uh, Wickham Wanderers for a time. And he's always... He's always had this musical leaning. His, his, his mother was a professional musician and he told me once years ago that when he was a teenager he, wanted to, he couldn't decide whether to become a rock star or, a, or a, a top footballer. And he did become a top footballer. I don't know if he'll become a rock star as well, but anyway, he has the album out on Cherry Red. Let's hope that it does well. I'm going to hand you over now to Professor, who's going to tell us whether he's dead or alive today. <laughs> Maybe both. Yeah, I, so this uh, Dead or Alive, of course, very famous in the 80s for pits like You Spin Me Around, uh, fronted by uh, Pete Burns, who larger than life character, um, both physically and in terms of the charisma he brought to his performances and such like, and later on on, on sort of reality TV, I suppose. Um, but back in the late 70s, early 80s, they were part of this really vibrant post-punk scene that was coming out of Liverpool and, and this club called Eric's. And I guess there were three bands that, uh, maybe four, but certainly three acts that really mattered at that time. Dead or Alive were one with Pete Burns and there was Echo and the Bunnymen and Teardrop Explodes and they kind of early days used to collaborate. And uh, so I suppose this early post-punk period of Dead or Alive has got kind of forgotten uh, after their pop success in the mid 80s but a new compilation hopes to uh, redress that oversight let them drag my soul away uh, is a three cd set on cherry red containing singles demos sessions and live recordings 1979 to 1982 so a complete output on a variety of labels well na namely inevitable and also their own label black eyes uh, both as Dead or Alive and their earlier incarnation, Nightmares in Wax. We're going to hear the, the debut single by Dead or Alive. This is I'm Falling.
was I'm Falling by Dead or Alive. So it's kind of, I suppose it's possible to connect Dead or Alive with the next act in the sense that um, Pete Burns and co very much by the mid to late 80s were just an out and out pop act. Uh, One of their contemporaries were the Pet Shop Boys and in due course Pet Shop Boys set up their own label, Spaghetti. And uh, of course they also worked with Dusty Springfield and a number of other acts. But perhaps their most successful discovery David Cicero, who had a huge hit with Love Is Everywhere, and yeah, had an album out back in the day and numerous singles. Uh, our SFE label, um, Strike Force Entertainment, reissued uh, Cicero's recordings a few years back. SFE are now revisiting Cicero's career with Future Boy, uh, with subtitle With Ciceroddities. You can see what they did there. Uh, a dizzying variety of different remixes including some new remixes on disc three and various live tracks i think there are something like 50 plus tracks in total but it's all based around that original album it's a three cd set and i think there's also a vinyl edition as well so we're gonna hear love is everywhere which was cicero's biggest hit Thank you. 
that was Love Is Everywhere, Cicero's uh, big chart hit from the early 90s. Uh, and we're going to move on to another new package on Cherry Red. A band who in the UK, uh, The Monks, spun off a folk rock group, really, The Straubs, who in due course had evolved or split and, and become Hudson Ford. And The Monks really was a reaction to what happened in the late 70s with the punk and new wave scene. They were obviously trying to stay contemporary. Maybe even had a, a hint of novelty about their UK hit, Nice Leg, Shame About Her Face. Um, but one of the other singles from that first album, Bad Habits, you'll see what they did there, became a huge hit in Canada. And the Monks ended up playing Stadia in Canada and became big stars there. Um, whereas in the UK, really, like I said, that they, they were kind of seen as, an, as, a, as a, like one-hit wonders. In due course, they made a second album for, for EMI, Suspended Animation, and then went the way of all things. This new package, which is entitled No Shame, the complete recordings, does what it says on the package, includes some unreleased recordings uh, that have been added to the, the, the mix, and uh, it's a two CD set that's out on Cherry Red, and we're going to hear that, that huge Canadian hit, Drugs in My Pocket. That was Drugs in My Pocket by The Monks, uh, another new two CD set that's uh, out now on a cherry red label, in this case Grapefruit, is Go Back, the anthology by Crabby Appleton. For those who are not aware of the group, they were, for want of a better term, a power pop act from the early 70s, uh, critically acclaimed, quite collectible. I think this is the first time that all of their recordings has been available in one package, certainly in the UK. It includes both their albums, Crabby Appleton and Rotten to the Core. Again, I think you know where that title came from. 
adding alternative versions besides the usual mix so you get the complete package and we're going to hear one of their finest moments this is go back by crabby appleton the title track of the new two cd set Go Back by Crabby Appleton, and now I'm going to hand over to Matt. Thanks, John. Yeah, we've got a couple more tracks to play for you before we um, head off for the for this show, but um, we're going to bring The Rock now for the next couple of uh, couple of songs. Two, both new albums, both on our Global Rock Records label, which is our, our brand new label devoted to hard rock, heavy metal, and the first track is from the cult US hard rock band Bangalore Choir. The track is on their new album, Centimass, which we released a couple of months ago. And, um, and this is it. This is called Downtown with the Devil. So see you soon. 
That was Downtown with the Devil by Bangalore Choir. And uh, the final track of the show is Twilight Road's Trapped. Twilight Road are a, a brand new band, actually, formed with uh, Nazareth singer Carl Sentence and uh, the Italian guitarist Dario Molo. Uh, and then this new album, Trapped, is a great no-compromise, hard rock, heavy metal album. Uh, 11 new tracks and a, and a cover of Deep Purple's Perfect Strangers. But um, the track that I'm going to go for to play us out is the, the lead single off that album, which is called Dirty Rock and Roll.
So that was Dirty Rock and Roll by Twilight Road. And that's all from us today. We'll see you on the next show. And thanks for listening. <laughs>